Hello Aries, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, so keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Aries and the person Aries is... Oh, okay, Aries. That was quick. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And then we also have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Hmm. And then we have retreat. Ooh. Ooh. We have engagement. We also have release your ex. This is one person's energy over here. Could be yours. It could be theirs. But I feel like there's someone here that's kind of contemplating like, should I go back or should I not? Should I go back? Should I not? Should I say something? Should I not say something? What should I do? I don't know. It kind of looks like this person has been doing a whole lot of back and forth here in their head. Like, should I say something? Should I not say something? Should I call them? Should I text them? I don't know. Should I? I don't know. Is it right? You know, like, I feel like they've been doing that. All right, let's focus on you first, Aries, and then we'll jump over to them. Still keep in mind that you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Aries currently view this relationship? Okay. We have temperance. Okay. We have judgment. And then we also have the queen of swords. Could be dealing with a Sag. Possibly a uh, Scorpio. Maybe even a Libra. You. How does this person currently view this relationship? Okay. All right. See, it's them. It's them. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. That's an airplane passing by. I can't control that. I don't know if you actually can hear that, to be totally honest. I can hear it, so I'm apologizing for it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's them. I feel like they've been kind of contemplating, you know, going back and forth in their head. Like, should I call them? Should I say something to them? Should I not? What should I do? Um, it kind of looks like right now, this person's kind of contemplating whether or not they should extend themselves to you or not. Now, it kind of looks like your intuition is kind of spot on, to be totally honest, because I feel like you can sense it. You can feel it, okay? Um, especially with temperance and judgment and the queen of swords being out here, I think that you can sense slash feel like someone from your past is essentially, you know, going to resurface back into your life so it kind of looks like you're just kind of waiting for this person to just kind of reach out to you um i think that for the most part you know the virgo in me doesn't feel needed by you whatsoever aries and that's okay because i feel like again you're already kind of 10 steps ahead of this person you already know it's only a matter of time man before this person extends themselves to you and it kind of looks like you're just waiting waiting for this person to kind of resurface back into your life because i don't see you doing it i don't see you doing it so yeah i feel like you already know so the virgo in me doesn't feel needed by you aries today but that's okay that's okay at the bottom of the deck we do have the emperor oh come on we got the ten of pentacles and then we also have the four of pentacles yep 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 Whoever this human is, this is somebody who's still kind of clinging on to you and what they once upon a time had with you, Aries. They still haven't let you go, my friend. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So again, they're trying to kind of figure out, should I say something? Should I not say something? Should I call them? Should I not call them? What the hell should I do? Um, it kind of looks like you already sense it coming. You, you know it's coming. You, you know it is. You already know. All right. It's only a matter of time. How does Aries feel? Yeah, I just don't feel needed by you right now, Aries. So I'm just going to go over here and pay attention to this person. Because I feel like you know. I feel like you know it's only a matter of time before this person resurfaces back into your life. You can sense it. You can feel it. A lot of you are picking up on this person energetically speaking. So you might start to essentially think about this person out of the blue. Um, I just kind of feel like your intuition is really spot on when it comes down to what's about to head in your direction. So I'm just going to I'm gonna go over here and pay attention to them because I feel like you know you don't need me right now Aries and, and that's okay uh how does this person feel about this relationship do, 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 do. oh give it up already we have the king of pentacles we also have the page 
of Wands, and then we also have the Seven of Wands. This person's under the impression that you don't want anything to do with them. I mean, you did get the Seven of Wands on your end. Um, I do feel like this person's under the impression that you want absolutely nothing to do with them. It kind of looks like the way things kind of came to an end, essentially, between you and them. Um, it is causing this person to essentially feel that way. There could have been some sort of fight or argument that may have transpired here between you and this person that initially caused the ending between you and them. But it kind of looks like for the most part, this person does want to come in and essentially fix things here between you and them. They're just not entirely sure what to anticipate or expect if they were to essentially extend themselves to you. I think that that's what's kind of holding this person up from essentially just extending themselves to you. Um, but it kind of looks like they're going to, to say the least. I do see them essentially doing it. I just think that this person fears the response slash reaction they're going to get out of you. They're not, they're not sure if you're open uh, to the idea of the two of you, you know, working things out, talking things through. They just don't know what they're essentially getting themselves into. And because they don't know, you know, what to anticipate and or expect, that's really kind of holding this person up from, you know, extending themselves to you. But you feel it coming. You already feel it coming. What actions will this person take? We have the Seven of Cups. We also have the Four of Swords, and then we also have the Star. Oh, and look, we have Temperance, we have the Devil, and then we have Judgment. Jeez. Yeah. Moving forward, I feel like this person is really afraid, to say the least, to extend themselves to you, mainly because of how things essentially came to an end, as I mentioned. It kind of looks like things kind of came to an end here uh, in a very unfortunate way, to say the least here. But again, I kind of feel like this person is going to essentially resurface back into your life. They're definitely hoping for the best potential outcome to happen here between you and them. They know they know that, you know, the two of you essentially ended things on a bad note, but they're really, really hoping that the two of you could essentially move past that, okay? They're really hoping that that ends up happening here. They're not sure if that's going to happen, but they're going to give it a shot either which way. So Aries, again, I don't really feel that needed by you because I feel like you already know... You already know what to anticipate and expect. You already feel it coming. You sense it coming. It's coming. They're coming. They're going to want to essentially resolve things between you and them. And I feel like you already know that, Aries. Now, let's see how you plan on moving forward. How does Aries plan on moving forward? Okay. You have the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the... Uh, two of wands and then we also have the five of cups it kind of looks like there's a big decision that you essentially have to make aries okay it kind of looks like you're a little bit conflicted on what to do here like i said i do feel like this person wants to essentially resolve things here between you and them they don't necessarily like how the two of you kind of ended this relationship uh with one another now whether or not you're going to choose to kind of you know allow this person back into your life, that is entirely up to you. It kind of looks like you're still very much so dwelling on what happened here between you and this person and, you know, how things transpired here between you and them. Um, and it kind of looks like that's mainly why you're kind of on the fence about whether or not, um, you know, allowing this person back into your life is something that you want to do, but it's more so coming from a place of, well, if I let this person back into my life, you know, what if they disappoint me again? What if they hurt me again? You know, things of that nature. So the decision is entirely up to you, to be totally honest. This person knows that they don't really have any sort of control when it comes down to what you plan on doing moving forward. Whether or not you choose to give them another chance, that's up to you. Whether or not you choose to walk away from this situation, that's up to you. Um, but they don't have any sort of control um, over what you plan on doing moving forward. And I think that... It does kind of worry this person, to be totally honest, especially because as much as they want to come in and resolve things here between you and them, they're not they're not essentially sure if that's going to happen. They're not sure if they're going to get the outcome that they want 
This could totally backfire in their face. Or it can definitely transpire in their favor, but it kind of looks like that really does all depend on you on whether or not you choose to allow this person back into your life all over again. It's one thing that I will say is that even though they don't really know what to anticipate and or expect, if it's one thing that I will say, I do feel like this person is still very much so clinging on to what it is that the two of you once upon a time had and they would like for it to kind of get to that point all over again. But as much as they may want this, Aries, it's not up to them. And they know that. They know that. It, it's not up to them. It really isn't. Because they can try to come in and, and fix things between you and them all they want, but they, they really do know that they really don't have any sort of control when it comes down to whether or not that's something that you essentially want, you know, with them. A reconciliation, a coming back together, a let's let's fix this, let's 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 start over. They don't know if they're gonna get that. But they're gonna try. They're gonna try. Like I said, it's hard to really determine whether or not you're gonna give this person a second chance. Some of you will, some of you won't, but that really does all depend on um, you. Any advice for Aries? Okay. Here's here's the thing. I kind of feel like, you know, your advice here is not much of an advice, to be totally honest, because you do have new love and it's safe for you to love. You could go off and start over with this person if you want. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, this person later on down the line is not gonna disappoint you again. I'm not saying that. They, maybe maybe they might, maybe they won't. Um, it kind of looks like you just have to kind of rely on your intuition at this point in time, because like I said, for some of you, you will give this person a second chance, and for others of you, you won't. And it's just that simple. But the decision is entirely up to you. So definitely rely on your intuition when it comes down to what you plan on doing moving forward. For some of you, you might essentially feel like, man, yeah, this person has changed, you know? And for others of you, you might feel like, yeah, this person is still the same old person. But it's going to resonate differently for all of you, all right? So a big decision, but I trust that you'll make the right decision uh, in the end. Just just rely on your intuition because I already feel like your intuition is already spot on. I don't really feel that needed by you, to be totally honest. Um, you know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what's heading in your direction because you can feel it coming before it even gets here. Um, and you'll know what to do. You'll know what to do. All right. So just trust yourself and trust your intuition. All right. Hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.